It's oh. gonna take him so long to kill Zai, that secret. May try and fight around him here. Sure enough, the Fiend script with the Enfeebled is gonna be a very long one, but Puppy comes in with the Snowball save. The Epicenter's gonna come in, man, to get the stun onto two of them. They're just gonna grab him looking fight. This is looking fantastic for LGD. The first time they're maybe gonna win a fight here. BKB goes down. The they Silence of Luna, Ultimate, a great Silence out for the Bane. He's trying to limp away, but here comes Nisha. Make sure he's get blown up the Supernova on the right-hand side. Nisha pops, BKB focuses down. Again, the Phoenix just not able to accomplish anything in these engagements. The song goes out. Now the BKBs are wearing away for LGD, or Secret, rather. This is what I wanted last game. I know I kept memeing with you. I was like, they need to pick Monkey King or they mm -hmm. lose. And uh, then they last picked Alk. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, is it a good Monkey King game? I was like, oh, oh no! Zai! I... How you just do that to Ame? And this will help catch these very, I mean, they're three mobile mobile cores, Sand King, yeah. Animage, and Monkey King. Now, they are behind this last rack, so they're gonna try and save him here. The Fisher actually keeps last rack in position. They're gonna go for the false promise quickly onto this last rack, but there's so many secret heroes, and none of them are really dying to this magic damage. It looks like this Lesh will get blown up. Three dead from LGD. Heroes that focus on long sustained team fights so much. They just want to be able to burst somebody down. That AM's not gonna drop bottom lane. Look at the jump in from Zai with the illusions out from the Animage. They'll Make short work of Chalice, who's had a rough go of it. And oh. now X Nova's dead as well. Zai cancels his TP, realizing that support could not handle the illusions. Maybe he's gonna try and go for Zai here, but he's seeing the side of the illusions as well. What's oh going my on? god! LGD! LGD! What's happening? Don't do so dear. Don't 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 lose like uh, I'm pretty sure Secret should just go for Roche. Game would look the exact same right now. Yeah. Uh, Link, Lincolns will help protect him, but not enough. There's so many disables coming his way. Tell oh, Jesus it's enough to finish him off. And now Nisha jumps forward onto maybe as well. This game just turns on a dime so quickly. Secret go from biding their time to now dominating LGD inside of their own base underneath the tier fours. LGD has not had five heroes alive for the last two minutes. Level 25 on Nisha as well. You got the Lincolns, by the way, so that uh, you can't just steal the... You can't just run Zai. out. Immediately, Burrow Strike, Nullifier, Nullifier onto the last strike. He's gonna be in trouble, mid one. Takes that time to get off the Wukong's man. Fortunately, there was a small little gap where Leshrac was able to get out of that Wukong's man. Fisher block in. Oh, back line immediately. The AM tries to go for the Oracle. Doesn't actually get it. The epicenter jump in from side. Big amount of burst damage. That'll be enough to finish off the Morphling, as well as go to the back line and grab Chalice. Nobody has buyback here on the side of LGD, so it's just FY and maybe. Oh, mid one's dancing Force on him. Just watch. Mid He's one dancing on him. Styling on PSG LGD. That's a different kind of dance there. That is not an entrancing one. Look at that. The G that is He's pinging himself. One. He wants his team to know <laughs> what's going on. What a way to end the game. Storm Spirit wants to get some vengeance, though. Level 7, full mana from the Invis. He has a lot to play with. The Topson is there as well. So Camry out with a quick Rolling Thunder. Nisha's going to start having a bit of a poke at Topson. Swashbuckle used into the Rolling Thunder. It's going to get cancelled by the Fisher. Then the Vortex. They're controlling him. Can they burst him before he gets the arm off? They can. They burst down Topson. They'll turn towards Anna. They're going to get both cores out of this. More and more imp for Puppy. 16 in at 8 minutes. He is working his way to one. Going to have it in 200 gold. And then once those are up, once the global is back, and if you can keep finding good initiation. Got eyes on Seb. Seb's in trouble. It's hitting from mid one. There's back up on the way. He absolutely in with the control. They're trying to get him with that rolling thunder, but with the global silence, Thompson cannot shield crash up to the high ground. They've got to now get out of there. They've lost Seb. Jump in with the Omni Slash Nisha. He found a second. They're even going to find Jerex as well. Caught in between the two of them. All the luxury of using global whenever he wants. The way to play against the silencer is to force out useless globals. We're seeing a, a heavy amount of TPing back here. They really want to find Dana. I think they're full five Man TP coming into play. It looks like Midbon did not get out. They'll kill Anna. Midbon was left behind. Can they kill him two times? Ten seconds on the Aegis. It's in their best interest to not kill him too quickly, but they do. They do kill him before the Aegis is gone, so he's going to have that second life now to play with, and he's going to play with them. Straight in with the Zip. Global as well. They're in and with the Silence. On towards Jerex. Is there anything Thompson can do to save me? We'll put the Greaves, and that will put Midbon off going for more. Silence is out. On to Zai. Can they actually kill him off? Puppy comes in, Soulbind on the two of them, Lasso controlling the silencer. Can OG get these kills? They should get up and off! Oh, no. in with the Echo Slam! The Omni Slash follow up from the 
Alicia as OG buybacks will come out, but a 19k lead now, 32 for nine. Game as well. Thompson instantly silence Greaves. Usually has the rolling thunder. Can he lock down any of them long enough for the rest of OG to get in? Anna Inkswell's on him. They jump in. The Inkswell is there. Rolling brother. The bounces in the The Fisher from Yapso stops the rolling brother coming back over. Leisha goes for the TP. Oh. And he's away. He's out of there. Back to safety. 30 seconds still without Anna. Without that big hard hitting PA that they need. Means that Secret will walk up, claim the melee racks for free. They'll take the range tracks as well. 24 seconds still to play with. Anisha wants to keep the tempo up, keep the pressure on. Mid lane tower being pressured as well. Can they hold him back? Thompson, he walks in, instantly gets stunned. He needs help and he needs it fast. Glimmer is upon him as well as the living armor. Thompson goes for the rolling thunder. He'll jump over the shield crash. He has got brilliant control here in right. Can he kill the two of them off? The overgrowth there as well. They've killed off Yapso. Zai and Dreco over the three of them. No tail silence up. They still haven't killed off Nisha. Nisha's still alive. Finally falls. They'll pop the Aegis. No tail buys back for this. They're throwing everything into this one OG and they have to. Can they get Nisha a second? Now the X12. The stun. The global. Zai in again. The fight. Man waiting with Nisha turns and has popped the BKB. Can he commit for a kill? Looks to Zai, but the face shift there. Zai continue to play around with him. He's your stop. Can he jump out again? Yeah, oh, it's the echo. That's out of dead. Seb's gone as well. Thompson's out of the game. Thompson, he has by that with seven. Anna, do not move on. He's found no tail as well. Yapto's Fisher sets up another. The glimmer cape will buy some time, but no tail still falls. As Thompson, he oh, brought back flash. for this. Omni slash from Nisha, finishes off the G -G. job. GG is called. And Secret will take game one of this best of three. And Secret, they look to be on top form. That was a very, very scary performance from them. Ten minutes in, Yapso hoping for the top room. And he will find it here. Double damage, but Jarek's always in. He steals it. The lucky shot prop with the silence. Yapso in trouble. There's a track. Anna's here as well as no tail to chase down the shaker. This is another track kill, surely for OG. And there we have it. More money here. Rolling in with these track kills. OG getting mobile and regaining control of the early game. Let's go. They got to keep this pace up. Normally against Medusa, you've got yourself, you know, a fair amount of time. But with a bounty hunter core, his job is to give you money. So Thompson, he just blinks immediately in past the tier one tower. He's ready to go, but there's the stone gaze. OG, they've got to back out. Echoes that pop. They're looking at Thompson. Fisher's out as well. Thompson, he's deep, but he's dead. No tail dead as well. Two fall. A secret. They may be able to even find more. They jump in towards Anna. They have the epicenter going. Anna is fast. The left shot pop slows them down long enough to buy Anna the space to back off. Mid one still trying to chase down Seb. Seb goes for the cell sprout. He's, he still has the balance strike. Seb in a lot of trouble. Anna, can you do anything to help him? There's a forest strike onto Anna. They're going to turn towards him as well. Swashbuckle from Jarex out onto the two of them. No tails coming across. But Mid one jumps in with a primal spring. Kills off Anna. Jarex potentially in trouble as well. He has Swashbuckle in a couple of seconds. He's trying his best with the juice, but the forest strikes there from Zai. Jarex is dead. No tail. Now the focus tops in back in, canning off with the backup to turn this one around, he'll jump towards Zai, they're looking for this kill, buyback from Jerex as well, they want to punish Secret for coming this deep, but mid oh, still primal. going, Primal spring in, Seb's in trouble, Seb's out of the game, triple kill from mid one, bonus strike from Zai, set up for more, it's oh, going to be no. more, more dying on OG, Secret picking up kill after kill after kill. So much of what they had built up just a few minutes prior. And just stun after stun after stun, the chase is so huge as well from Secret with these long reaching spells, the fishes, the roots flying out from Puppy, Boundless Strikes, Primal Springs, they can gap close so well on, on Secret's lineup. And there's no especially tanky hero on OG that's okay being the one left behind and okay stalling out. Everyone is super squishy on the side. And here's the jump in the mid, the Fisher, it's the roof. Boundless Strike will be used at the same time. It doesn't matter though, they still get the kill. Topson's dead. No Tail stuck in the Wukong Saman. He cannot run himself away. Or can he with the heal? He will. No Tail does survive. Anna in the midst of it all tracks out onto Zai. They'll jump in, diving the tower, both strike from Zai. In with the primal spring, Yapso has the control. Anna surrounded, Anna's dead. Seb as well. Can he escape this? Can he find something in return? He's trying for Yapso, but the disarm. Oh. One puppy stops him from killing off the oh. shaker. Seb will fall, fall dead on OG. It's now 21 to 7 for Secret.
hard for them to really have that opening initiation. They need either either the Puppy Shaman or the mid one Meepo to have that instant jump and go to catch Samel off guard. But Samel will be fine mid lane. They found another big core jumping onto Arteezy. Mid one with the blink, making the plays. In fact, up top, they're going for Zai. Zai will be able to turn, get the Ice Blast out onto the two of them. Crit fucked up by the False Promise. Will be able to move in and get Zai. The rest of the Secret are turning up though, so EG have to get out of there. Fly will be unable to do so as mid one picks up another kill. And now, still this 5k lead that Secret are holding on to as EG struggling to really slow down the pace of this Meepo lineup that Secret have. I mean, they really just got the most important kill in the game for Secret. They, they killed Arteezy there. Arteezy's the one who's dealing with the split push, dealing with the side lanes for the most part, and now they can just walk up and look to take a tier 2. Mid lane's also pretty low as well. So mid lane just jumping in for Samil. He's just going for it. Again, with these roots, there's nothing that Samel can do. He's dead and gone. 70 seconds. A long, long time to be dead at just the 19-minute mark. And Samel still without that first item. He's trying his best to get that battle fury. Zai hunting S4 down bottom as well. Has the Atos from earlier. Let's see if he can get this on his own. Ice Blast. It's out upon him. S4 will jump out. He's trying for the TP, but they don't see him as S4 He's will go. Zai getting the solo kill. As EG really beginning to crumble now. They have Serpent Wards. They're going to threaten high ground. The deep push from EG is dead. And Secret push so fast that the Wards, the Skeletons, the Meepos, they've got all the siege potential. And EG with two cores dead. How do they stop this mid one? Straight in on top of Crit. Fly, Crit, and Arteezy. They're having to run back to their base. But Crit's not going to be able to get away. Shackles is there to hold him down. Secret, they'll continue pushing on. And I don't know how. This is a dead rack for how, sure. How do EG slow this down? Just I don't think they can. Arteezy just has to keep spamming, but he has to be careful. If he gets jumped, anyone gets jumped, there's that. There's no false promise. S4 is back up, so they have some of their deep push here, but the Rax is already gone. He's trying his best to throw the bubbles to protect them on those opposing sides, but... As he's gone, 20 he's minute gone. mark. They're Secret all responding though. Breaking the base, mid one able to poof away. See if they can get any sort of catch. Samel chains onto the two of them. Ice blast out though in return. Back onto RTZ. RTZ's got to be careful. It's a four man dream call, but there's very little follow up for EG. They have no damage, no items on this Ember. He's very important for this game on the puck. A secret around the mid, ready to go in towards the base again. EG, what can they do to stop this? RTZ has got the full me on it. Tempest double gonna get critted down in a couple of hits by Nishi. It's gonna be there on mid when they're gonna try and go for this, but at the same time, Secret, they're collapsing onto, onto RTZ. The Doom was laid down onto Nishi, but he still has that reincarnate. He's gonna have that second life. Mid one jumps in. Shackles are there as well. Samel's trapped. He's dead and gone. Secret, they'll look towards Crit. Controls there for mid one with the reach. Crit's dead as well. Triple kill. Samel and Meepo. There's the buyback for Samel, but he's surely gonna die yet again. He has a remnant in the trees. But Nisha, he's chasing, he's hunting. Mid one, eyes onto Flash. Fly, he's moving in on the Oracle, the E-Blade's out upon him. Fly's trying his best to run, shackled down to Samael. It's a dieback, it's a run face, it's mid one. He gets both of those kills at the same time. Splitting the Meepos up, killing both Fly and Samael together. This man's Meepo just looked absolutely perfect this game. Mid one has had a mid one, just presents himself, starts to push in. And we'll have Samael back in 10. A secret from mid one, he's already in the trees. As far as he's dead. He's just straining onto the park. He's got the root on to fly. They've got to run back to the fountain, EG. They cannot afford to step anywhere close to this Meepo. As mid one will help them finish up this final set of racks. Serpent Wars down as well. They have a fortification to buy some time. And mid one jumps across, gets the kill on crit. Double kill for the Meepo. Their damage on the racks will continue. Samel jumps in. They'll be quick to jump out of there, but he cannot. The Hex is there. Triple kill for mid one. EG getting absolutely slaughtered. GG is called. And Secret making a mockery of evil geniuses in this game one. They've also got the Desolator now finished on the PA, so if they get a successful fight, they but can look turn at, this into a Rosh immediately. Look position. He He's knows. there on the high ground, making sure the Secret cannot invade the jungle from this angle. He has been scanned out. Secret knows as well. So they're going to look for the wraparound, mid one up to the trees. RTZ, Samael, and Crit are oh, here. Does Secret want to jump this shaft? So He's going to try with the Hex. Mid one going to look over the high ground. The balance strike over the two of them. They found Crit. They'll try and chase for more. Samael, can he get out of this? He'll turn, but he's dead. Secret! And that's with the Desso. They can go straight into the Rosh pit with this immediately. Two dead on EG.
We EG, punch. they may have found the upper hand earlier, but now Secret. They'll be able to close this gap just a little bit. You know, we talk about how important Vision is. These wards, both times now, the team that had a good ward to get the start of the fight has gotten a great situation for themselves. Is that one they do it now? S he tries to come in for the S4, but he gets jumped upon. It's easy. He's trying to save him. He needs to fight. members of Secret. They're chasing now. The grips are out. Fly, can he do anything to help him? I don't think so. Oh, he's dead. dead. Fly, he's gone as well. Oh, my. Oh. They actually went in with only hits. They went in. They only had two heroes. They don't have possible for, for Zai or Yaps or to offer it's, any sort of that crucial lockdown it's, it's that they so need. Much on these initiations though. <laughs> They're gonna try and make the jump from the smoke. They lead in. Yaps off. He gets the hex off. Nisha's in with the big fly. The defensive disruption. He's gonna keep it safe to Doom. S4 again. He's in. On top of mid one. Artizi moving in with the range. Can they kill off this Monkey King? They'll take Nisha first. The Monkey King falling over the finger. The hex. Yaps off. He's got the burst. Artizi's oh gone. God. A secret will come out on top of the fight. Three dead on EG. And we'll see how important these jumps are. The initiations are pretty much everything inside of this game. So high ground, we're going to see teams holding high ground a lot. You see Crit, he's done this a lot in this game already. We've seen it more and more in tournaments, but it's really so much about those jumps. As the scan it does catch Crit for a moment here. As all the rest of EG, they perch themselves up, but Secret, they're smoked. Zai with a 10 second BKB too. So you're mentioning how he gets on top of those supports. Now he's got freedom to just crush them oh, if they can't is, slow him down. This is a long wrap around from Secret EG. May not expect this angle of initiation. They see Sumail. They're all starting to gather up together. There's an illusion rune top. Artizi popping the rage to I get mean, it using Secret, that radiance. I don't think EG's expecting this. Secret, they're coming from behind. BKB's gonna be popped by S4. BKB's out from Zai. Sumail on the high ground for the BKB. Trying to get the cover. Zai's out of there. Sumail, he's trapped in the wood of Zai. Had the wood but it doesn't matter. Sumail's dead, 90 seconds, no fight, crit, jumped up by Nisha, no turn towards Artizi, Artizi trying to finish up Zai, they have the sentry so he can see him, he's isolated, the Zai, kept alive, the miscoil, the aphonic shield, Poppy, keeping Zai safe, on the back, Nisha, jumps in again, this one, double kill for him, they'll get themselves a fight, as crit by back, but it's a die back on crit, Nisha, with the triple kill, oh my god, Sumail blinked on the cliff and he just got caught in the middle of a Wukong's command and just gets high level in comparison to Nisha's Sven. Nisha just hitting level 8, even though he had a great time up top on that Sven. They're getting this tower for secret. They are going to look to try and lead in and Zai walks in. That's going to be a dead Matumba man. Let's try for more as well. Poppy in with the TP. The block off with the Sprout. They've got Kerr. Miracle's got the blade through, but he has to keep on the retreat because Secret, they're going to continue to chase. Zai, he's hunting him down. Bar strikes there. There's the magical damage. They found a third. GH will lay down the slab. He's trying to get Yapso. Does manage to get the Zeus without mind control. TP's in. Ravage out to do them. Another enchant item. Can they kill off mid one? Mid one's still alive. Side. The bar strike. Zai has the control. Keeps mid one safe. They get the double. I mean, so there's definitely going to be a bit of them that knows that they don't really need that Aegis to take a fight at the moment against Liquid. They have a 16k gold lead, and they can certainly feel it in their items. Yeah. Knowing that they can just have this firm control on the map and just constantly putting the pressure on all the lanes, just always pushing them out, even though they're versus a Drow who pops Aura. As the Tempest double, will they get the gold for it? I mean, Nisha, he's coming in. Oh my god, god. Mid dead. Mid one with the Tempest double outplay, baiting him in, Zyze with the bow strike on GH. GH is dead. Oh my god. Nisha pops the BKB. They have to buy back on Liquid. There's no buyback available on GH. Miracle and Kurt get themselves back in. But it's these quick jumps, these stuns that just allow Secret to delete heroes on Liquid. These calls are just so farmed on Secret. Nisha's got his defusal blade complete. Already. They've got dust on GH. GH, he cannot run away from this one. He's being blocked off. Will turn with a stun. Stuked out by Yapsor. He's trying to escape, but the slow's out from Nisha. They have their eyes upon him. He'll pop the stick charges. One more hit would do it from the troll. And there's the slow. Kill for Nisha. The troll. Having a very, very good start on that bottom lane has now propelled itself into a place where Zai walks in, takes the bounty run away from him, mid one. He's diving up the high ground. He's been statically, but it doesn't matter what does it. Maybe with a cold embrace, everyone's got to be careful. He cannot get that physical damage off to kill the Tumba Man, and with that he gets, save, him. he gets the kill still. Oh and my god. He's still alive. He's got a map available. He's got a TP. He's into the trees. He's out of there. They couldn't keep oh. the Tumba Man safe, and they could not kill mid one. That's the biggest sort of team fight entity that they can present. But that's only if Yaps was able to get in, and it's so hard as well with GH just keeping the vision up. They've also got a full Crimson Guard on this Sand King too, so that damage that Secret does have from their physical is going to be slowed down quite a bit. If but they want to try and contest, they've got to walk in soon. Zai jumps in, gets the sun under the free of the Yaps. He can be part of the gap, goes for the beginning of the Winter's Curse. Cancels the Black Hole straight away. And now Matu, the Stanley Link going on Nisha. Nisha, he has to run. Mind control jumps in with the episode. Onto Zai, Matu.
out, he will die to the Argonauts. He played Paul from Miracle. He's taken out in second. Buyback oh, comes yes. out from Zai. They're trying to get back towards the pitch. Roshan still stands. A buyback from Kuro. As both teams keeping the fight going, midpoint. Jump over Mike and Jump Roshan to do Poppy. And it's right in front of the Roche, and look how low it is. So many different spells you can steal. Having Blinkstone is one of the dreams. It may not seem like the most impactful spell, but sometimes just being able to get your telekinesis off of Rubik is what gets you a kill. Miracle. Oof. Trying to trade hits there with mid one there. Oh, oh, he's, oh, nice. hey, Zai. he's prepared, he's there. Very problematic here for Liquid. They're starting to make rotations with more heroes. They've got the level sixes. Can they set up for mid one? Fisher into the two man standing strong. GH walks in, echoes them. They've got the combo. Mid one falling low. But the mid one, the refraction. He's still alive. Don't oh my god. The Abonic Shield back up. They didn't kill the TA. Puppy there with the save. They kill all three of them. Secret. How many shrapnel charges? We have only one shrapnel charge left as well for Matumba Man. He's holding on to it as much as possible for that high ground defense. How can they make it? Yeah, Midboy's in! He's on top of Kuro. Kuro does get the static storm off in time. Another sub being laid down. Now Midboy gets the charge upon the BB. Mike controls in! He gets the 2 knock right there! They managed to kill off Midboy! Can they get it in the back? The 3 in the wall, 3 in the wall, he's turning up inside! And they roll through! Swords both the ones of Matumba Man! Miracle is dead! But he's back, Kuro back to base! Matumba Man is still alive as well! Yapsor still has the black hole stone as well. is back in! Triple kill! Jumps in on top of the sniper! Matu dead! 3 gone on Liquid! Only Miracle! Relentless. They just didn't give any breathing room to Liquid at all. And we saw in this series, it seemed like whichever team came ahead out of that laning phase just absolutely took control. These teams just so good at understanding the map control. And with this run...